Robert's jeeping right there. What's up, man? What's happening? You taking care of the Texas beach? Okay. Let's go. Where's your temperature gauge ride? Uh, it's in that. Is it the one with the little flag? Yeah. It's been at like 12 o'clock? All the way down the entire time. Oh, place. really? Yeah. I don't know if it's broken. I was going to say, I wonder if it's working. <laughs> but it's been like that the entire time. All the, the other two rooms. You still well, have the lights okay. on. I'll have them take a look at that too, because that, that gauge there should ride right about 12 o'clock. Oh, you're like that. all what came out of your bus. Oh, wow. So we're going to start with the issue and that was the water pump. So remember how when we were underneath the bus we seen it leaking here? Yeah. You can see there? Well you were actually leaking out of both weep holes. The oh, top okay. and the bottom. So glad we caught that when we did because that would have left you on the side of the road. Um, these are your upper and lower hoses which are extremely soft. Mm -hmm. So they're supposed to be harder than that? They're supposed to be harder because what will happen is when the vehicle gets to operating temperature and it cools down, it can actually cause the hose to collapse mm -hmm. and then you won't get good flow mm -hmm. through it. So you got new upper and lower hoses. The squeak, 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 squeak. Where's your drive belt? Okay. So you got a new drive belt as well. And then this is where we kind of dove a little bit. <laughs> this guy here your ac compressor mm -hmm. okay this outside part is the clutch which is like starting to freeze up yeah. okay this spins mm -hmm. what will happen in time is the bearings inside here would have went the drive belt rides on this when that freezes up it throws your drive belt and then you lose the drive belt i should have saved the pieces of the old drive belt the drive belt on that bus has actually been thrown before because it was all wrapped around the, the fan clutch, mm -hmm. uh, which your fan clutch is now working. Um, how we were able to delete this was, if you imagine, this is the bracket that that used to live on, okay? This is your belt tensioner, which was on this side of the, the bus. Mm -hmm. So the AC delete kit that we originally got, basically you just take this off, you put that AC delete kit there mm -hmm. and it reroutes the belt. It would not match these bolts. 
it just was not fitting so matt went home and racked his brain and came back the next day and was like well wait a minute this thing had an option of ac or no ac there's got to be a way to do it mm -hmm. so he did some research and he found so this is the diagram of with ac this is the gut diagram without ac mm -hmm. basically what they did is the tensioner over here they deleted and they put a different tensioner over here. Mm -hmm. So here's your old belt tensioner. We'll go out to the bus, I'll show you. This is now gone. So on the left side, you have nothing over there. You have no more compressor on the right side, but you got a belt tensioner on that side. And that's how we're able to do the, the AC delete. These are just, these are just a couple of the, the hoses that he cut out that were in the way. There's more AC stuff that we can pull out of there, which you and I will will go over. Okay. Um, so now let's walk outside before we close this because I want to show you some more. I'll give you those. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> hey, YouTube. <laughs> Been dirty years, but yeah. <laughs> so go ahead, fire it up. That's going to normally ride, so see the 12 o'clock line? Yeah. It should normally ride one line down from that. Like right here? About right there, yep. It's okay if it gets up in the 12 o'clock range, mm -hmm. but if it ever starts going past that, that's telling you that you're overheating. I didn't want to stress you out, but the day you dropped the bus off and I asked you where the temperature gauge ride, you're like, oh, it was all the way down. I was like, oh my God. And I turned the bus on and it wasn't working. I was like, she just drove this thing across the states with no temperature gauge. So you now have a working temperature gauge. Um, that we threw out on the house for you because I just wanted you to have a working temperature gauge. Battery voltage is fine, yeah. Okay, go ahead, pop the hood. Robert took me through everything that they did to the bus physically and showed me all the parts that came out of the bus and what parts they put into the bus. He, We went back inside and he went over the actual paperwork with me, broke everything down, the cost, things that he suggests that I keep an eye on that will need to be fixed, replaced, um, just things like that in the near future, the far future. Just making sure that I basically knew the ins and outs, what exactly they did, what I was paying for. And um, I was really struggling with trying to find a mechanic in this area that I could trust because I'm not from this area. But Robert was recommended to me by a really good friend who has been going to this shop for many, many years. 
and he did a phenomenal job at making me feel comfortable, making me feel like, you know, walking me through everything, making sure that I didn't feel like I was getting ripped off because I have been ripped off by mechanics in the past, probably because I am a female and I don't necessarily know what what they're doing and so it's it's very a very common thing for that to happen unfortunately and so if you are in the Eugene area and you're looking for a good mechanic um Robert shop is called Bill and Gary's Automotive in Eugene and I highly recommend it um the total cost wound up being just over $700 for all the work that was done um on the bus and he did tell me that if my if someone called half you know on the other side of the country and said that it was an emergency and I needed to be there now he has full confidence that I can jump in to my bus and drive all the way there without having any issues so that made me feel so much better about everything and I'm just so grateful to have found somebody that I can trust who isn't going to overcharge me for things because I don't know anything about mechanics. So super grateful and appreciative to Robert. Thank you so much, Robert. I will leave the information to that shop in the description below if you need it. Um... Robert also has a YouTube channel if you want to help me say thank you by going and showing him some love. And I will also link that in my description below. But all in all, the bus is fixed at least for now. And hopefully it stays that way. And I will just have to keep it up, keep up on regular maintenance and not have to go back to the shop for anything major. Thanks, man. You're welcome. And we will see you tonight, right? Yes. Yes. Do you know are we still on for um, Cornbread? Oh, do, do you know where? I have no. Well, she may have told me. I don't remember. Okay. If it's not anything other than Cornbread, text me and let me know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we'll see ya. Okay. Thank Drive you it more. so much, Robert. I'll, I will Drive get it on. more and I get used to watching. I guess this means I have to take it on some adventure. Yes, and get used to watching that gauge. I love oh, yeah. You have a heater in there. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Sparrows will be here by dawn When we run this over Well, you guys, the bus is officially fixed, at least for a little while, hopefully.